Thank you for these questions uh, and thank you for taking care about Ukraine. So really the situation is, is very difficult because a number of people try to penetrate. So according to the data I have for this morning, uh, it was 500 people, 500,000 people who already crossed the border. Some of them are going some, some to the relatives or their places, but majority of them are looking for the place as refugees and uh, our neighboring countries are assisting us. Some of the people uh, are coming here actually Yesterday, this night, we also met our relatives who came from, from Odessa. Mm -hmm. They escaped somehow and uh, via Romania came to us. So they are very scared. So the situation is really dramatic. We, as a world, should do everything possible to stop this bloodshed, but not with the, on the cost of Ukraine. And so the, the biggest problem is now the long queue, because uh, first of all, we have a martial law which does not allow men to li leave the country. So they, they should go to, to the armed forces. Second issue is about the long queues and the capabilities of the border crossing points, which actually does not allow to cross a huge majority of people. So that's the biggest challenge. And uh, we have also assistance from AFAD for these people. Uh, and uh, mobile groups are assisting uh, to ordinary Ukrainians, for example, in Chernovtsi region, very close to Romania and other also uh, assisting them. So uh, on the other side, I mean, in neighboring countries, they have good shelter and good treatment, and we are very grateful for all this support we received from our neighbors and from other, uh, from other mm -hmm. countries who are sending them this so time. First of all, we are in the war for eight years, and, and people uh, who are actually in the front line, the people who are in military service, they are very yeah. motivated. They know who is an enemy, how to shoot, and how to, to prepare the defense. So, and it is seen with the casualties. So actually, I would say that it's one to 10 in, com in comparison with the losses in manpower, also with the equipment. Despite of the superiority of Russians in the missiles and in the air, air power, so still they lost a lot of things and didn't get what they need to get. I mean, majority big cities are still under Ukrainian control, and I believe they will be in the control. Um, our support from the foreign world, from Western countries, from Turkey, from other countries are increasing. And the mobilization also give its effect. So our manpower and, and capabilities, strong, strong capabilities are increasing. Actually, we don't know what Russia will, will plan to do because uh, majority of the invading forces, they are not fulfill the task and actually they're not in power to do this because uh, they, they were not well prepared. They believed that it was a propaganda issue. They believed that they will come and everybody will meet them with flowers. But now even the grannies have a, have a gun. It means the whole, whole nations are defending themselves. So I believe that their main target was Kyiv, and they would like to capture or kill our president and to, to put someone from, from Russia to, to be our governor. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're an independent state and we're defending ourselves. And Kyiv is the key point we're holding, and we continue to hold it despite never all the losses and all the destroyment. So Russia will not keep it, and, or we will defend it to the end. Mm -hmm. You may, might have seen in the media how strong was heated the center of the Kharkiv city or yesterday residential area in the same city. Majority of buildings destroyed, uh, people are scared. So uh, our, also our relatives, uh, they, they are spending more time in the, in the shelters than in the home mm -hmm. because they're afraid of, of some rockets firing or some bombs, etc. So still they continue to threaten civilians, they continue to, um, to destroy our lives and, and, and uh, uh, houses, but we are resisting. So what are your predictions, where they will attack or where, where they try to capture? Uh, they, ha they have been trying it uh, the, the first day, mm -hmm. but they didn't, they didn't manage it because of our resistance. So we, we will, as I said, our re uh, resistance potential is very strong. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's about people because they are highly motivated. They are defending their land. Secondly, it's about the, not, not physical mobilization, but it's about the self-defense system which have been created just mm -hmm. before the war. And it's really play good because all the saboteurs, all the guys who have been sent subversive groups, they have been kept or destroyed by these guys. So it means that people from the house or from the building, they are defending themselves. Two or three people, they, it's enough to, to, to hold this let's point and they are afraid of moving. Even there is a cases when Russians try to, to penetrate to some towns or cities and they see that there is some possible resistance, they are retreating. Even you start to shoot, they are retreating. So it means maybe they, 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 they are demoralized most probably, and even in, this, in, the, in the towns where, which they captured, they have a protest of uh, ordinary people which say that you're occupants, you're, you're not welcome here, get out of here, we are not, we're not killing you, but we're not welcoming you. And it also shows the attitude. So they're trying to cap big cities like Kiev, Odessa, um, uh, Kherson, Mykolaiv, uh, Kharkiv, and Mariupol, mm -hmm. but up until today, they kept nothing.
They just destroy a lot of things, but uh, in many directions they were repelled and destroyed. That is our tactics, and uh, we have uh, huge support in this in the public opinion. So the world changed completely, and uh, today's decision, or yesterday's decision of Ukraine, President of Ukraine to uh, apply for EU, EU, part, EU uh, membership, it also gives us a glimmer of hope that we will, uh, will become quickly, than the ordinary states, a member of EU. And also a number of things happening very quickly, more quickly than in an ordinary life. We are paying the price of lives of our people, but the world sees it. And now the world woke up. Actually, no one is fighting for us, I mean, in, 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 as a country, but there is a number of volunteers who are already coming. There is a huge amount of support, military, technical, humanitarian. Still, there is needs which should be met with proper assistance, but everybody understands who is aggressor and who is the country which is defending itself. It's Ukraine. So, sir, you said you're receiving a lot of uh, help from the other countries, so Turkey is one of them. Uh, very polite, uh, assisting us in every possible step. I'm receiving uh, a lot of messages and a lot of uh, supplies for, for like ordinary food uh, equipment, well, what is necessary, medics. Uh, from, from, from Saturday, we are open for receiving this humanitarian assistance. And, you know, embassy is not working properly in, mm -hmm. in natural land, but just packing this this humanitarian assistance and sending to Ukraine. So we already uh, launched maybe two or three tracks, big tracks, and, and it's continued to, to be collected. So, and we are very grateful for every Turkish citizen who assists us. It's also Ukrainian community, foreign diplomats. So none left uh, aside and assisting in any possible way. So, and also uh, the, there is a huge support from the companies, from the uh, different cities. Uh, they are coming and saying that we are fully on your side. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.